Welcome to Island Life in the Philippines. So it's day four of this remote towel expedition that I've been on for the last four days, obviously. And we've been traveling for the first three and then we landed here last night. And so there's lots to be cracking on with, lots of content. This one's for you, mum. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> 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 that was awesome. Nice. Oh, in, yeah. Got it. Nice. Nice one. Yep. You. No! <laughs> <laughs> Get in that corner. Get in a corner. <laughs> You've been up pounding, get in the corner. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Okay, that was really useful actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, ah, yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. No! Oh, yeah. No! Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, That was the rice. Filipino <laughs> power. Yeah, it must be. Yeah. Few yeah. grains, yeah. too many. Too much rice. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I've got sure. Again, over. Yeah! yeah perfect! <laughs> Wonderful! Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah. All of us. Good one. Yeah, go. Nice. Good, good Take it, perfect. Yeah. Oh! Okay. Uh, you even bad. say mine. You have played that game before. <laughs> Right, good morning. I have a confession to make. Obviously, I'm saying good morning because I did no pieces to camera yesterday. Things got pretty wild after after that session we did. So, yeah, after that workout, I filmed that full body zero equipment workout. Uh, I was chatting with the founder of the Tower Resort, actually. So his name's Jack. And there was two guys that founded it, Jack and a Filipino dude. And so Jack's been knocking around the Tau Farm, which is one of their, obviously one of their biggest base camps for this ex these expeditions. Uh, and where they ran out of food. So the way they do it is they have their own farm here. They have like uh, all of the vegetables you need and then all the, the meat you need for whatever expedition guests they have coming. And we were a group of 25 and then a new group of 25 was about to arrive. And so they ran out of pig. So there was no meat for us or for the next group. So Jack uh, said to me, yeah, I'm just gonna go and kill a pig now. You wanna watch? And so I said, uh, yeah, okay, I'll come and watch go over and he's like, well, do you want to do it? You said you wanted new experiences. So then I was like, yeah, okay, let's, let's do it. Uh, so yeah, it was, uh, he gave me the honor of slaughtering the pig for, for last night's food. I'm obviously not going to show it out of respect for the animal, but I will, I'll cut away and show you a bit of the experience and kind of, you know, how, how things really work out here. Cause my take on food is if you can't, or yeah, if you don't have the ability to kill it, then you shouldn't be eating it. So I kind of wanted to stop myself from being a hypocrite and, and experience that yesterday. Where's this one? <laughs> uh, intense, intense. It's an uh, inter interesting feeling. It's obviously didn't suffer for very long, which is nice. Um, right. It's natural though, right? So yeah, no, it was quite a rush, and it, I forgot that it would bleed. You know, <laughs> like you forget until you don't think about that. Yeah. 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 But you see what I mean by the rush? Like yeah, I mean, as soon as, it, as soon as yeah. I knew it knew, my heart was going like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's easier than you think to get it in there, you know? Like, I didn't have to push very hard. Yeah, it's a sharp knife, yeah. Uh, very weird experience, but uh, I was chatting to some of the Filipino guys who's obviously, like, done it firsthand for throughout their whole life, and they say um, the fact that they're not wasting a single inch of that animal and the fact that it's providing, like, an, an experience and resources to, to so many people and we need it to survive, uh, it kind of helps you helps you uh, rationalize it in your head because obviously if it was if I'd not eaten for a day or two days then I'm gonna have no problem doing that but when you you know when you're surrounded by good people you don't have those urges and you're like you've got a full belly it's it's weirder to rationalize but uh, yeah no fantastic experience nonetheless so after we did that we had a, a, a tour of the towel farm so went and saw like the caribou which is like a, a bull anyway I'm not gonna spoil it go and have a look at what we got up to lime tree that one yeah we make also that for the soup any kind of soup that you want. Oh. And okra or ladyfinger? Are these eatable? We had yesterday, the yeah. flowers? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, herbal medicine also. Yeah, I heard that. 
surprise them. <laughs> Papaya. It's crazy. Hello. And then finally we had an amazing breakfast. So as I've said, every, all the food's been amazing throughout. So looking forward to every mealtime, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, and played so much volleyball last night, uh, yesterday. So it was about two hours straight of volleyball in the sun. I've got sure. Again, over. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Followed by a massage at about five o'clock, uh, and that's the first time I've had a full body massage. So obviously in in Europe you're paying like thirty quid for half an hour's massage, so it uh, can be pretty expensive. So I've always avoided it in Europe, but it was like seven pound fifty for uh, for a full body. And when I say full body, I mean full body. So like yeah, hands, feet, head, neck, everything, and that's the closest that someone's been to my arsehole in a long time. <laughs> uh, what else <laughs> happened? Uh, yeah, definitely a good stress reliever because we've been doing these sort of workouts and living this island life for five days, so it's nice to sort of break down everything in your body and, and feel refreshed. And now it's the morning of the next day, so it's day five and we're gonna get a session in. So we've invited a few people and I've got Hendry here as well, who I met in um, Karom before, and he, so he was on the next expedition. Uh, yeah, do you want to say hello? Hi guys, uh, Henry here. I'm going to join Adam with his workouts, probably a lot of calisthenics because I'm really into calisthenics. So we'll see what uh, the workout will bring us today. Cool, so we've got a big clan now. So uh, do you want to introduce yourself? So we've got Henry, obviously you've just met. Victoria. Victoria. Christoph. Christoph, both from Germany, yeah? Michael. You know Michael by now. Yeah. <laughs> Expedition Jeff, leader, Jeff, Expedition Jeff. leader Jeff. Yeah. I'm Wazoi. Was I'm with the crew. Wazoi. Wazoi, yeah. One of the crew. Um, so we're going to do a little circuit. So uh, there is there are there is seven of us, and we've got three exercises. So three people are going to be working, and four people are going to be resting, and we're going to go continue a circuit for for three sets. So exercise one is going to be pull-ups, exercise two is going to be dips, and exercise three is going to be pistol squats. Pretty much exactly as I showed in that full body workout yesterday, um, with the level of progression. So as the sets get harder, you can make it slightly easier for yourself if you need. Cool. Let's get into it. Never enough. Attack. Attack. <laughs> Cheers, Jeff. Good, perfect. Yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> Expert level. Push ups with no legs. Everybody loves the swing. Good stuff, man. Another one. Come on. Good man. How are you? Go, 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 go. Nice. Breakfast. What a breakfast. Keep the glutes up. Yeah, keep them up, keep them up, keep them up, 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 up. Yeah. Right. Good stuff, guys. So three sets each on this one, and everyone's doing like roughly between seven and 12 reps per set. Very gassy, because obviously it's three people working, four people off, so it's only about a minute on, minute off. Good fun. Push, 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 push. Yeah! So five push-ups. Um, if this is too heavy, you could also do uh, like this. Yes? Yeah. These are the two options for the shoulders. Or if you want to have a shoulder press, it's also possible. Attack it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Adam. So that's the session done. Always the best way to start the day. The workout woke me up. I don't need coffee. Look at that melon in you, boy. Michael. <laughs> Slowly. Slowly. Living the dream. It's a beautiful morning. It is. <laughs> so, oh my, I didn't think my hair looked like that. Very slick. It's good. <laughs> it's from the coconut oil from the massage last night. Looks like you stepped out of uh, a GQ magazine. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. So that's breakfast knocked back now, and we are gonna try and head over and ride this ball uh, and get some good pictures, and follow it, followed by climbing a coconut tree again. Uh, try and get halfway up. Really falling in love with this place. It's such so relaxed. I can see myself retiring somewhere where just the greenery really pops when you're used to just seeing beach and and sea. Uh, and yeah, like I said earlier on in the video, it's lovely to spend the, the time with the same people consistently because you really get to cut through the bullshit and start to talk about real stuff. So yeah, it's been an amazing experience. So yeah, like I was saying, they're pretty much all female here and when they want to fertilize any of the pigs when they're ready to go um, and that, when they're ready to be fertilized about seven months, Jimson, yeah. yeah, they bring a, a male in from the town, fertilize the female and then Obviously, the just the pregnancy period is about five or six months. Five or six months pregnant, and then they're going to leave them till about five to seven months to get big enough to get enough money, money's worth from the from the meat. You know, just the water at the same time. I feel like it's competitive. Like when one goes for the water, they all go for the water. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. the yeah. male meat doesn't taste as nice as the female meat. So what they do is, when you can still pick the pig up in one hand, they um, castrate the males which artificially turns them into females because there's no testosterone in the blood and then they raise them as female uh, as if they were females and then you know eat them after about six or seven months as well local knowledge thanks to this man <laughs> so jameson got an unbelievable picture with a water buffalo yesterday so i'll show you that it's one of the <coughs> one of the best pictures you'll ever see so we wanted to come over and and ride it i was too scared after i saw it yesterday but we're gonna give it a go today it's uh, just for working. Oh, they like the Nice. Yeah, they use it for training at the Yeah, Nice, dude. Oh, that's good. The, the tail, look, the tail. It's going up. <laughs> nice. Nice, dude. This one. Hold it. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, means stop. Oh. Let go. The turkeys respond to a turkey call. Listen to this. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, after our workout, I thought we were going to climb a tree immediately. I was like, I can't do it. Yeah, I was, I was thinking like, that. I'm, I'm beat. Did you do a workout too? Yeah, we worked out this morning, then okay. lovely breakfast, straight onto the water buffalo. Oh, yeah. And then we got the tree to do now. So the day's going as planned, <laughs> even though we we're in bed at like 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> we we had a great night. Great night. Yeah. Or the coconut? Yeah, we're gonna go up. I bring down. Okay, so you know Jameson already. We've been hanging out for two days now. The most unbelievable tree climber, and he's going to show me how to do it now, and then we're going to try and copy. Ready? Yeah, go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. <laughs> this is how we get the cooking without knife. <laughs> It's quite some height. Oh, he's coming down with the coconut. 
Drop it. I'm gonna go get some ketchup. I'll get it for you, dude. Jesus. I did it! Yeah, yeah, he always does. Yay! <laughs> it got the coconut. Alright, Adam, here we go, bro. <laughs> Get your feet in there, there you go. I did coconut. Look at him. <laughs> Man of the jungle over here. Yeah. I'm bringing it all the way to New York with me. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do me. So we've made it to the final stop. Obviously, last day now, taking the boat out again. And we're on this beach, and there's a little shipwreck here. The shipwreck is not from World War II, it's from the 60s. And it was um, transporting transporting wood illegally, like smuggling wood. And it sunk from a typhoon. And it's obviously really shallow. I'll put you under in a second. like anteating animals in them and they make the mound too big so that if an ant goes in it can't get out and then it, it gets the ant so Andrew's ant hunting if you find an ant we'll stick one in to its death oh here it goes oh oh did you see that yeah yeah he <laughs> got it oh no it's no, still in there still... oh it's coming out to play <laughs> yeah you get it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. You're a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a crazy few days and I can't recommend Tao enough. So if you're ever thinking of coming to Palawan, then I recommend doing an experience like this and choosing Tao rather than the other companies that offer similar things because the that stay in the Tao farm was probably one of my favorite bits. Obviously on top of all of these incredible destinations, um, yeah, the community, the people, the food, the company. Uh, very, very happy with how it's gone. Well, ladies and gents, this is the final stop. So thank you very much for watching this five day expedition video. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in Cebu. So I'm heading there tomorrow. Uh, lots of canyoneering and diving. So uh, always more to look forward to. Cheers guys. And please subscribe if you wanna keep up to date because I'm trying to get to a thousand now as quickly as possible.